Welcome back everyone. Corpus Christi's Travis Adams lives for baseball. He played it in high school and in college and as a U.S. Marine he's routinely stayed up till the wee hours of the morning watching live games while stationed in Iraq. But a chance meeting over the summer resulted in the opportunity for one brief, memorable and bittersweet shot at the pros. All baseball players, we play it for a reason. You play it for the love of it and it never goes away. But for Travis Adams, it certainly got pushed aside for a while. A Flower Bluff grad who went on to play at Wharton College and West Texas A&M, he enlisted in the Marine Corps in 2006 and has already done two tours in the Middle East. I've been in definitely in situations that most people wouldn't want to put themselves into. I mean, whether you're just going on a, a routine convoy or you're out looking for somebody, it's definitely, every time you leave, it's definitely putting yourself into a life or death situation. When he came back stateside this year, he found the game again, joining a local men's league where he met Coastal Bend Thunder pitcher and former San Diego Padre J.J. Trujillo. I know he hadn't played for a while, but you know, in, 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 in the men's league, he, he, he plays really hard. He's got a lot of fire, that kid. Trujillo was so impressed, he convinced his pro team to sign Adams for the final road series of the season against the Laredo Broncos. Actually, at first, I was like, OK, what do they want me to do? I mean. He asked me to come play, and I was like, figured I would just you know, come down and be an extra body, maybe run a base or two. And they, I get there, and you know, day one, they're like, hey, you're catching. That's basically every baseball player's dream is to get to come back and you know, have a second chance at playing again, especially at that level, and actually compete at that level. I haven't cheered that hard for somebody in a while. Uh, I, you know, every time I got to the plate, I was, I was just hoping you know, he'd connect with one. And he did. Adams hit 231 over three games and even got to man the plate when former American League MVP Jose Canseco stepped up. Yeah, you know, he didn't really hit home until he stepped in the batter's box right in front of me and that guy towered over me. I think I hit him about his belly button. Yeah, just the timing of all of it and getting that opportunity to see a guy like that, you know, compete, he can still swing that bat like no other. But as thrilling as the experience was for Travis, someone very important was missing. Less than a week before he made his professional debut, Adam's father, Kenny, had a heart attack in his sleep and passed away at the age of 55. He was my, my number one supporter in anything I ever did, and he definitely would have loved to have been there. And, and he, you know, I know he was watching, and you know, getting, getting brought to that atmosphere, would, he definitely would have been proud. And that's definitely something I wish I could have experienced with him. But you know, the situation, I know he's looking down, and he would have been proud. He would have, have enjoyed it. Now, Sergeant Adams will ship out for Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, here at the end of the month uh, for a likely deployment in Afghanistan uh, sometime next year. So wow. he certainly uh, is going for another third tour there, uh, you know, in the Middle East, and we wish him well.